Hey my honey, so today we are here with another review or whatever, but look at this hair. Y'all know I cut it and it's looking so full and good. I had some braids in, I think I had them in for like two weeks. I feel like I'll do some more cutting. You see all them layers? I'm so happy that I had a chance to sit back with my honeys and have conversations with my honeys. Like, you know, we back like we never left. So we're not letting none of that bother us. And today we have some hair by Eula Hair. Y'all know how I feel about my baggage. You get done with it and you go throw it in your bag. That way you know what hair you're going to use next week. But anywho, let's see what's inside. So these are three bundles my honey they are all 26 inches i like long hair y'all know that so we gonna work with this hair in a second but let's see what they gave us so they sent us some lashes okay but as you guys already know i have been wearing the um lash extensions these are a fresh set i get the bottom lash and the top lash now so in a minute when we get back into our makeup videos and all, I won't be really getting these anymore because I like my lashes to go with my makeup looks that I do. And I don't want to be doing makeup and have all that caked up within these extensions because they're on each individual lash. So you got the strips, okay, you just throw them on for a couple days. And then you got your individuals, which is already like flared out and you just put them on along your lash line. And then you have your extensions where they're on each individual lash. So these are considered hybrids because you would never get your lash to be this full if you wear any type of other lash because you're bald eyed, okay? You don't have a full lash of eye no more, so. You definitely uh, would need a hybrid set. And I didn't know the history of it, but I do now. They sent us a wig cap, okay? I'll use this for uh, another video at some point, because as of right now, I'm going to do a leave out middle part, as you've seen from the thumbnail. But these are good to keep around when you're doing your lace fronts and all of that. Now, I may have put a closure with this or may have put a frontal with this, but I'm not going to go through all of that right now i'm too busy i just need some hair in my head so i can get up and go a comb which looks carbon being that it's carbon you can uh straighten your hair out with it and it won't burn the comb as you follow it with the uh hot flat iron and you get your little instruction book so basically these things will be telling you what you need to know to get in contact with them and also what you will need to know to take care of your bundles okay also, when you shop with them, my honey, you can get a chance to win up to $200. Being that, you know, if you promote them, post your photos, and share with them, and add them into the post, you know, they will put you in a, a next runner-up type of thing, and then they will choose, and maybe you'll be the lucky winner and get 200 bucks. Oh, yeah. Boop. So, it's a hair strip. I don't think it's much of a tying thing, but, you know. Let's get into this hair. Look at that wind flow. <laughs> Straight out the pack. Just lightweight and flowy. Look at that. This hair is a high quality, okay? 100% human hair. These bundles are 26 inches and they sent me three of them. Oh, I cannot wait. This is the Brazilian, my honeys. The Brazilian. This is going to be wind flow. Now, it's a natural brown color, which is matched my hair to the T. Because when you see my hair in the sun, it looks like a number four. So, their natural brown would be considered a 1B, but it's looking a little brighter than that. So, maybe a 2. <laughs> okay. I'm doing a middle part with it. I feel like my hair should be healthy enough at this point to achieve the perfect middle part. Look at that fullness. It's still kind of thin at the top from my little disorder or whatever with that eczema. But I cut it all as one and look at that. Oh my God, that looks good. Especially from before. If y'all didn't see that video, make sure y'all check it out. I'll put it up here in the cards. But yeah, it was bad. It had to go. So I'm going to try to leave out as much leave out as I possibly can, my honeys. 
to cover up them tracks that's going to be around there. So the thinner your hair is, the more hair you want to leave out to cover them tracks. If you don't leave enough out, it's going to be visible and it would appear lumpy and bumpy. But we're going to make sure we put enough. Do you do your tester, my honeys? You part it and then you see your thickness from each side. So this side looks thick enough to cover that and that definitely looks thick enough for that. And I'm going to take it back a little bit because I want it like a deep middle part. I want the whole thing to just be, you know, I don't want a little short one. I want it long. So I'm putting as much hair back here as possible too to cover that track. You got to consider when you part this out in the back that got to come back here so your part won't even be all the way back there so how long do you actually want your part will determine this piece right here now when I go off into parting this down the middle that's pretty far back still I'm good with that when you want to get real fancy with a middle part you can always leave out this little piece there leaving out this little piece helps to bring this down but then swoop this back over any little existing tracks that may show and it also help hide what's going on and that's just them little corners you see so three bundles would sound like a lot but it's long hair so you don't get that much so you need three to four bundles depending on how thick you're going to be trying to get your hair to look. But I want my hair to be more wind flowy, so I'm okay with the three bundles. I don't know if it's like a 9A or... It's giving me 9A vibes. Like, you know, this hair is based on grades. So you got 7, 8, 9, probably 10, 11, 12, you know. But anything above 8 is immaculate, soft, beautiful hair. Seven is fine too, my honeys, but it, it just, that's the lowest grade. So you know how that go. If you go with the highest grade, you get a better grade. If you go with the lowest grade, you get some good hair, but it's probably just cheaper. So basically, I want to put me a braid right along where that track would be. Just a tiny braid on each side. That way it will hide all the other tracks underneath as well. So we're going to start with that. You can add weave so it can be like a tougher hole when you put that string and that uh, heavy old track up against your hair. But I'm not going to do that because I found another way to kind of make that uh, track sit on my hair tautly and not be, you know, hanging or drooping or even pulling at my hair. Especially when I'm around these little areas that's sensitive. You know what I did want to do, my honeys, before I braided this up? I want to add some oil to my actual hair. Your hair already... Uh, makes its own oil so you don't need to add a lot of oils and do all of that because you don't want your weave to be greasy right so i like to add that oil to my hair and not my parts when you just add it onto the parts and then you sew it in your needle is going to be slippery your tracks could end up being greasy looking and then they won't flow because they're heavy now they're way down from the oils i was going to put this design essentials Botanical oils is for hair and body. It hydrates the pores. It just does a lot. It's for is this this is good for relaxed or natural hair. But I want some type of oil in there. I just washed it, hydrated it, detangled it, and blowed it out. That's all I did. I sat under the dryer for about uh, 15 minutes with my conditioner in there, giving my hair the goodness my honey this little oil would just help to get in there lock and seal everything by the time i'm probably done braiding and my hair would have been a sucked up majority of it and i i really wouldn't have to worry about uh my bundles being greasy
Now these two little braids you got back here, you gotta connect them in too. So I like to crisscross them. Gives me a stronger foundation. And then um, I'm going to take, cause we, we to this point now, this can crisscross right over into that braid. It can actually start it. Now, as I told y'all before, when you get to that middle point here, you see how that's flat over there? Everything is flat. You want the same thing over here. So you would start braiding from this side so that everything can meet up in this middle and be as lumpy as it wants to be because no one's gonna see that. But you don't want your sides lumpy, so you just start from this. I'm gonna start from this side from now and bring everything back to the middle. Cause everything from that back middle part hangs down. Like all these tracks will hang down over everything. So you won't even know, who's gonna know? How would they know? And there you have it, that's my foundation. I anchored this braid to come around. That's where our first track gonna start. Technically, you don't have to put a track all the way down there just because you know how that hair get real nappy on the neck. But this hair is so good, and then it's a sewing. I may want to pull it up, so I'm putting it down there pretty much. So, y'all know I'm not the one to cut my bundles as far as tracking them in. I hate to do that, but I think I may do that today. You know, you could do that flip method or you can cut it. And I'd rather do the flip method, but since I'm doing it on my own head, I may not get my flips up in here to be as flat as possible. And then I may ultimately have some lumps somewhere and I don't want that. So I may cut it just to get it flat and keep it flat. And that's only because they're all the same length, right? So when I go digging through these tracks later down the line after I pull them out my bag, because it came with its own bag, I'm not worried about what track is this track, that track, they're all the same length, so it doesn't even matter. This hair is so silky, my honeys. I don't even know if my real hair would get this silky. On the leave outside, starting any track for me, I go through that whiff. So, I don't pull that needle all the way through until I'm absolutely positively sure where I want to place it. So I start there. I wrap that uh, thread around three times. That creates a little knot. And when I do that, my honey, it secures it to another level. That's what I was saying about these little thin areas. When you're putting tracks over there and it's got to hang and become heavy, you put that pin through, you wrap that thread around there at least three times. Two to three times. And it's going to be stuck in each section that you do that on. So it's not just hanging and moving around. It's going to be taut. Now I'm flipping this track, my honey. It seems pretty flat. I make a flip them at the top too. Because I would prefer to flip them instead of cutting them. Whenever I flip, I go through that weft. I lock it twice, I wrap it twice to lock it. And 
I move along to my next break. And I will wrap that twice to lock it. It don't matter to me. I say twice, but you can do it two, three, two. Make sure it's in there. Now that looks good. It's in there. It's flat. Look at that. So we may we may not be cutting our trackage, okay? I hate cutting my tracks. I hate it. Now I just move along regular smegula. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious, I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift, sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes, it makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane, we all live for fame, yeah Yes, my honeys, this is two bundles later. I put my remaining bundles in the bag. I only have one left. I use my She Is Bomb stick to kind of help my hair to press out and stay straight, you know, and also to guard it from the heat and heat damage. And once I do that, just along the roots, okay, I go in with that flat arm and then I straighten everything out, grabbing a piece of the track hair just so it will also blend a little more seamlessly. So um, by the time you do that throughout each section, and I do small sections, I part small sections and go along like that. You know, my hair is real thin, so I don't need them that small now because then you'll be able to see trackage. But um, that's pretty much the process of the, this leave out stuff. So I'm going to use this hair again. This is you on the hair. I love it, love it, love it. But I am also going to use it um, recently with a... Um, closure okay so i don't have to deal with my hair or worry about a leave out i will leave everything about this hair my honeys in the description it was marvelous it was flowage it was just everything you can imagine like i kept it in for about two months like i said um two whole months okay i had to wear a little hat because my leave out won't corroborate and but we ain't gonna let that bore us okay that hair did its job and all I did was curl it, I mean, you know, braid it at night or um, kind of roll it up into a bun and let it down the next day and it had its own flow. But at this point of the video, my honeys, I will see you honeys on the next one. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys. Mwah.